right, everybody. So far, this is the pile of wood. Maybe use that skid steer, just uphill of it for reference. But uh, <laughs> we're putting a pretty decent dent in it so far. And uh, you got Shive and some of those guys up there in the back corner. You got John from Rick and Jeep over there. Hey, there's Jack. Back there you go. <laughs> yeah, so I've been actually helping out uh, Will uh, Wilcott and, uh, and Jack. They're parked side by side with their splitters and we're sharing a trailer. So we've been uh, loading that trailer up straight ahead on the other side of that John Deere. We've got some of our help hauling it away. And uh, yeah, we, we got, uh, let's see, let's do a count. We got one, two, three, four, four axes. Got uh, Jacks. I think it was a 916. We've also got the uh, Repeater 29, which uh, Will Wilcott is, uh, is running right now, and uh, that's Will's tractor. I'm trying to think of what else we got. Uh, Brad over there with his Easton made, and uh, I'm not sure who this gentleman is, but he's got a uh, looks like an old oh, look. Wrong. It looks like a mic. I'll have to get a closer look. All right. So now. We're getting deep into the Easton made action here. We've got some Axis equipment here. These are the uh, the more earlier model Axis machines. That one's uh, obviously got no conveyor. This one's got a fixed conveyor. Another one with a fixed. We've got some Wolf Ridge. Always love to see some Wolf Ridge around too. Look at this monster. This is a homebrew setup. My word. She's a beast. Wow. Bet that thing will split a couple things, huh? Woo! And he's about to prove it too. Look at that. Man, oh man. Very cool. And I believe... Oh, power split. Okay. This is the first time I've seen a power split in person. I've seen plenty of them on the internet. I'm sure they look familiar. I don't know if there is any relation or not. But it's still a very effective machine. Got some cherry over here. A little funky in the middle, but... All the way down. But anyway, we're here having a good time. Jack hooked me up with some of his apparel. So uh, yeah, it'll be nice to have a nice fresh hat for today. It's uh, pretty hot down here. They're expecting it to get into the low to mid 80s. So we'll have to see how that goes. I, uh, I chose to wear pants uh, mainly because we were gonna be working by these wood piles that have been sitting for a while. And my thinking is uh, there's a good chance we might stir up some bees possibly. So wanted to give them less to sting, if you know what I'm saying. So yeah, um, we're gonna get back to work, get, uh, processing some more of this i guess their target goal today is hopefully 30 cord worth uh, we'll have to see how that goes and uh there's a bunch of guys here i'm not sure it's as many as they were hoping for uh i didn't actually do a count but we'll have to see i'll touch back on that subject later but uh we'll see you soon all right so i got myself walking around the back here and uh there's John from Frickin' Jeep. As you guys see a little bit of behind the scenes here, what kind of action we have going on. Look at this beast. What's going on, guys?
John's from frickin' Jeep. This is his beast. He brought this along with him today. There's glasses. I'm sure you all recognize those if you watch this channel. You got Shime over here. Woo! Yeah, buddy. I was waiting for it. Boy, oh boy. I don't know, Shime. You got a lot of paint on that thing. I'll take care of my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> boy oh boy look at that thing this is a 1222 Easton made and it's a uh, one heck of a machine really really enjoy these machines all of them there's so many good companies that built these awesome machines and we got a little CTL action here going on making more room for us to pile more wood we got the slash piles over here we're discarding Man, that pile's growing, Shide. It's growing. Give you guys a little bit of dump action here. Hopefully that Ford survives it. All that weight. Let this gentleman in the tractor sweep in here and he's gonna continue to mound it up decrease the footprint a little bit give us some more room very cool all right so now we're getting deep into the eastern made action here we've got some axis equipment here these are the uh the more earlier model axis machines that one's uh obviously got no conveyor this one's got the fixed conveyor. Another one with a fixed. Got some wool bridge. Always love to see some wool bridge around too. Look at this monster. This is a homebrew setup. My word. She's a beast. Bet that thing will split a couple of things, huh? Woo. Oh, power split, okay. This is the first time I've seen a power split in person. I've seen plenty of them on the internet. I'm sure they look familiar. I don't know if there is any relation or not. Very effective machine. Got some cherry over here. of a lot of firewood that's impressive so <clears throat> this couple here from Maine drove all the way down here and there's another couple here or at least a gentleman here and his son uh, that came down from Vermont which is pretty awesome now, they've got a little bit of wood left in their trailer so they're full ready to dump there's a few more guys that are going to fire up their splitters and they're going to continue for a little while longer and they're going to try to get it uh try to get it cleaned up they're going to try to get all the good stuff cleaned up and uh you know some of the gnarly stuff they'll do something else with but it's looking good 
I guess some of these guys are hooking up, getting ready to haul all their equipment home. Some folks are going to be staying in a hotel down here and uh, leaving early in the morning tomorrow to head back home. But boy, I'll tell you, that is a tremendous amount of wood. And that pile is technically two rows deep. I'll show you. That sure is some. Welcome back to the Mount Tammany Ridge channel. And good evening. I'm here in the garage. It is now Sunday evening. Uh, I uh, just got back from doing some more dirt work up at the project on the other side of the valley here. And uh, I um, had a really great time this past Friday at the Hope event. Uh, worked really, really hard along with everybody else. The amount of hard work and hardworking people that gathered and the Woodhound community and the uh, volunteers that also attended uh, to help us, uh, you know, keep things in order as far as, you know, messes and stuff like that. And some people brought tractors and obviously we had a lot of splitters there. Um, and uh, yeah, we really knocked it out of the park this year, uh, it sounds like. Now, this is the first year I have attended uh, the HOPE event. Um, I had tried for last year, uh, just couldn't couldn't get it to come together. So, uh, but finally this year I was able to pull it off and I'm really happy I did. Um, <clears throat> last year, I guess uh, they had split somewhere around 20, 22 cord and they were hoping to make a new record this year, somewhere around 30 or so. And uh, well, uh, we did good. We did real good because it sounds like 50 plus is what we actually split this year. So um, we're gonna have to wait for an actual tally uh, after they get done making all the deliveries. Uh, once that's done, uh, we'll have a better idea of, uh, you know, of how many cord that is. Now, uh, um, according to the gentleman that does a lot of the deliveries, it sounds like they do what I guess you would call a country cord. Um, now, uh, I believe he said that a country cord is roughly one cord plus one quarter of a cord. Um, so, uh, so each delivery has yeah, is a, is a one and a quarter cords and, uh, you know, that, that's how they measure it. So, um, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting to see how it really shakes out, uh, in the end. Uh, I'm kind of thinking we're pretty darn close to 50 cord, uh, one way or the other. So, uh, but yeah, uh, if any of you guys, um, and gals that are watching, uh, our videos collectively, all of the Woodhounds videos, um, anybody that you might be subscribed to or not, uh, you should consider subscribing uh, to, the, to the channels, uh, you know, within the Woodhound community. Uh, you know, we all work really, really hard to bring you, you know, content, uh, hopefully worth watching. Uh, and a lot of these guys are very talented uh, that create content and, uh, I'm sure that all of us as YouTube content consumers, uh, we all know who, who those folks are and all of us other YouTubers uh, strive to do uh, good content as well. So, uh, but yeah, this, this HOPE event was really, really a tremendous event. Anybody, uh, like I said, who uh, watches our content I urge you to, you know, at least consider uh, coming to the event next year and, uh, and, and volunteering, pitching in uh, with the rest of us. And, uh, you know, even, I mean, it, from, from, you know, helping us just, you know, keep the firewood 
uh, flowing into the trailer faster, all the way to you know bringing your own splitter or a processor or something like that. Um, every every last individual that shows up uh, over and above what we had this year is going to make next year an even bigger an even bigger deal. So. Uh, and it is, it is, it is worth it. When you see that pile growing and you see one trailer after another, after another, it's almost like a, it's almost like a parade of uh, constant flow of firewood uh, in these trailers, just going over to the other side of the lot and dumping it. And when you see that mountain of wood at the end of the day, it really, really is, uh, it's a, uh, it's hard to explain unless unless you actually are part of it and you see it and you feel it. Um, it's really kind of hard to put it into words. Uh, not to mention, it's extremely gratifying, uh, you know, to uh, to know that you've you're you know you've made a difference. You've made a difference in the lives of you know uh, families and friends and things like that that are really in need of it and. Uh, yeah, so wanted to thank everybody that showed up for being there, um, doing what you guys did, and uh, and I hope to see you next year.